Today, it's finally time to paint the rest of this place black. For a while there, I thought I might get away with just having the back corner painted black, but the more and more that I film in here and work in here for that matter, it's kind of distracting. Not the black color, but having the rest of the walls a different color, and the wood is pretty busy in my opinion. There's a lot of different tones to it, and I think it'll look better if everything in here is just one solid color. So that's what we're gonna do. So I've already started moving some things. I've got this shelf pulled away from the wall just because that wall is where I'm gonna start. This area over here where the resin printer is is gonna be a little interesting because there's some stuff up on the wall, but I think we should be able to get over there and just kind of paint around things for the time being. And then back here towards the door, uh, I, I'm gonna need to take these racks down because they're not holding lumber anymore, so they're not really useful there, and they're kind of a danger when you're walking past them. So we're gonna get those down, and unfortunately, the dust collector's gonna stay there for right now, so I'll probably avoid this whole section, maybe paint above the door, but we're just gonna take it one step at a time. The plan is, once I get this portion of the wall finished, I should be able to move the tool cabinet and everything over there so we can get back in that area. The only downside to painting this wall is it's T111 siding, so every eight inches or so, there's a little groove that the roller just doesn't like getting into. I'm gonna try it first with the roller just to see if we can get it to work, but my bet is on me needing to brush it with a paintbrush. And I guess while we're at it, I should probably take this down too. This was a clamp rack when I had the wood shop in here. Obviously it's not holding clamps anymore, but it, uh, it's gonna impede on me trying to paint up there. So that's gotta come down. So I'm hoping I wasn't too stupid when I put that up and I only used one style of screw, but I guess we'll find out. Well, that wasn't too bad. I'd love to get this board off, but judging by the glue that I can see right there, well, it's glued in, so it's just gonna stay there and we'll paint around it or something. Yeah, those things are everywhere around here right now. I can't promise that I'm gonna do this for every one of the walls, but we'll see how it goes. Something tells me this is a never ending battle. So the paint I'm using today is stain blocking paint and primer, the scuff defense from there. And I believe this is the same color that I did that wall. It's the only other dark color in my Home Depot paint purchase history. I'm also banking on the fact that two gallons should be enough. Again, if it's not, I'll just make another trip to Home Depot, but this stuff's pretty good at what it does. If you didn't know what these little things were that come with your paint cans, you can stick them in there and, well, I can't do it with one hand, but yeah, it's a key to unlock this little top spot and then this screws in so you have an easy way to pour it. I think the last time that I did this, I wanna say I used the rough one, but I'm not positive, so I picked up two. I've got the extra rough in case the rough isn't good enough. I think I'm gonna start with the rough. If that doesn't work, we'll just swap it out for the extra rough nap and call it a day. And then for all the little nooks and crannies that I may need to get into, I just picked up one of their standard angled brushes. And because I'm too cheap to buy the roller with the, uh, the pole, we're just using the broom pole. It's got the same little thread on the bottom of it here, so why not? Yeah. 
and before all of you want to tell me that I'm painting wrong, I don't care. It's paint and it's going onto a wall. As long as it covers the wall, I don't give a shit. All right, so we've got the majority of this wall, in fact, all of this wall done. Um, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it at. I'm not gonna, you know, do it over and over again until it's perfect, because in reality, it looks pretty good on camera and uh, not too busy to my eyes. So I'm, uh, I'm happy with where this is at so far. Next up is tackling this whole corner there which is a little bit more involved because there's a toolbox I gotta get out of the way. There's that desk that it's, it's gotta get moved out of the way. Can't use the long roller when there's too many things in front of it. Hence the reason why this had to be moved out like eight, 10 feet from the wall. Just every time I'd go to move the, uh, the roller up and down, it would smack into the bench, so. Before I go and move everything from over there though, I do wanna get all of the filament back up on this wall, so. I've got it all situated on the table here, and we're just gonna get the racks back up, and then we can move on to bigger and better things. So I think the plan for this area here is just gonna be probably painting up to maybe that line there where the stairs start to slope down. Maybe a little bit further, but it's gonna be pretty difficult behind this desk area trying to get stuff situated. And this is some another project entirely in and of itself. So we're gonna get the toolbox moved over to here. And I think it's gonna live there from now on. I think the red will look nice with the black. And then I can use this area to have it be a little bit more cleared out. Maybe put this on the other side of this table. So just kind of hide that electrical box, be a little bit neater back there and not, you know, right out in the middle of the floor. So I'm gonna get the majority of this with the roller on the longer pole, but I definitely see some areas that I'm gonna need to get, uh, get close and dirty with it and take it off of the pole, especially down over here, up there. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, since I'm here, might as well paint that part too. And then of course, like around the mini split and stuff, I wanna cut in with that uh, with a brush. So nothing to it, but to do it.
So it's probably been three or four hours since I first started, you know, moving everything around and taking stuff down. And I mean, we've got most of the wall painted. Obviously under the stairs, we still have some work to do. And then we've got to tackle everything over on this side of the shop, but I'm running out of paint. I only have about half a gallon left. So my main concern at this point is finishing up at least this side and we're gonna do that in the morning. So I will catch you guys on the flip side. Tomorrow. It is day two, we're back in the shop. Yes, I'm in the same shirt, albeit with a little bit of a stain from putting the nap on the, the roller there, but that's besides the point. The goal for today is getting the rest of this wall painted and possibly underneath the stairs if I have enough paint left over. So aside from what I just poured in here, which is about an eighth of a gallon maybe, I've got eh, another quarter gallon or so. This should be enough to get the rest of this wall finished up. I'm not gonna make you sit through that though because, well, you've already seen the rest of the shop. So, well, it's not quite finished. As you can see above me, I ran out of paint, but I did get the majority of this wall finished. I got about four feet on the stairs left to do. Then of course, we've got to do the outside of the stairs, which will be in the next video. But overall, I'm very happy with how this came out. Uh, having all of these walls painted black instead of the busy wood tone that it was before really just looks so much better on camera and it feels better in here too. It doesn't feel quite as busy on the eyes, especially with all these lights up above me. It also feels less old. You know, when you walk into an older home, maybe go down into the basement, you often see the wood paneling on the walls and that's kind of what it felt like in here. And this was a brand new space uh, about two years ago. So we put all of this up and I had full intentions of painting it back then, but never got around to it, especially with a wood shop. The black walls with a wood shop would have gotten very messy very quickly. What's really nice though is I can flip this camera around pretty much any direction now and it's all the same background. It doesn't change from area to area, so I'm happy. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Oh, we've got, we've got one more thing to do. That's better. Put the desk back in the corner there. I mean, it's still sticking out into the walkway area, but at least I've got a little bit more room right here. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. In the next video on this little repainting, remodeling, we're gonna tackle this side of the shop. That means probably another two gallons of paint. At least that's what I'm gonna buy so I can avoid running into what we ran into today. If you're interested in seeing how this space has come over the last couple of months, I've got some more videos queued up for you right there.